Once Gautam Buddha was going to Vaishali city for preaching Buddhism. While passing through the city, he saw some soldiers chasing a girl in a hurry. The girl reached near a well and stood there, exhausted and thirsty. Buddha called the girl to him and asked her to draw water from the well for both of them to drink. While the soldiers arrived there, Buddha signaled them to stop. The girl hesitantly said, "Sir, I am an untouchable girl. If I draw water, it will become impure." Buddha replied, "My child, she is very thirsty. First, give her the water to drink." In the meantime, the king of Vaishali also arrived there. He greeted Buddha and offered scented water in golden bowls for them to drink. However, Buddha refused to take it. Once again, Buddha reiterated his request to the girl. This time the girl gathered courage drew water from the well drank it herself and then offered it to Buddha to drink after drinking the water Buddha asked the girl about the reason for her fear she replied sir i got an opportunity to sing in the king's court by chance the king liked my song and rewarded me with a necklace but someone informed him that i am an untouchable girl on knowing this He ordered his soldiers to kill me. Somehow I managed to escape and reached here. Upon hearing this, Buddha said, "Listen king, I want you to always remember my words. A person's identity is not determined by their religion or their caste, but by their qualities and actions. You enjoyed the song sung by this girl with a sweet voice and appreciated it. She cannot be untouchable if her actions are so noble. You are the one who should be called untouchable as you are filled with low thoughts and perform petty actions. You have introduced yourself as untouchable by your actions and thoughts. Feeling ashamed in front of Buddha, the king apologized with humility and asked for forgiveness. Then he left from there. So friends the moral of the story is person become respected by their action and thoughts not by their religion or caste